Now at 4.30, new information involving the hanging death of an African-American man, this time in Victorville. Sheriff's investigators say so far there is no evidence that Malcolm Harsh's death was murder. But as NBC4's Tony Shin reports, the victim's family and friends say he would never take his own life. This is the homeless encampment where 38-year-old Malcolm Harsh was found hanging from a small tree at around 7 a.m. on May 31st, just 100 yards from the Victorville City Library. San Bernardino County Sheriff's detectives say Malcolm's girlfriend called 911, saying he had hanged himself. She and others from the encampment had cut him down and tried to resuscitate him. Deputies and paramedics also attempted to revive him, but couldn't. Two weeks later, the investigation continues with deputies still canvassing the area for more clues. They were just asking if we have cameras. Um, they asked if they like were pointed in this direction, and so they were just wondering like um, if like we've seen anything. But we let them know that we didn't see anything that day. Family members in his home state of Ohio told us that Malcolm would never commit suicide. They they say investigators told them the six foot three tattoo artist had blood on his shirt and was found with a USB cord wrapped around his neck. Family members question why it took the coroner 12 days to perform an autopsy. They also say the coroner recently told them that there wasn't any physical evidence suggesting foul play. But family members still believe Malcolm was murdered. All he talked about every day was his kids, his kids, his kids. Henry Bennett claims to be Malcolm's best friend of the past two years. He says Malcolm was homeless, and during the days leading up to his death, he was also sad because he was going to miss the graduation of one of his eight kids. Still, Henry believes Malcolm wouldn't kill himself. You know, I know my boy, man. He's not gonna. He's not gonna do nothing like that. Malcolm's death has also caught the attention of longtime community activist Naji Ali who is now calling for an independent investigation in what he calls a possible lynching. Sheriff John McMahon says the California Department of Justice is also involved in the investigation. We do believe that foul play was involved. We do believe that white nationalism, white racism, white supremacy is on the rise because of the rise of Black Lives Matter. In a press release, sheriff's investigators say the autopsy showed no signs of foul play, but they are still waiting for the toxicology results before they release a cause and manner of death. In Victorville, I'm Tony Shin, NBC4 News.